Hello and welcome to Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Uh, this week I brought a souvenir from America. Uh, a beer that's labeled America. It has this, this nice patriotic touch to it, like it has these lines uh, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters. This land was made for you and me. Uh, do you remember that's from that old Woody Guthrie song? It says, Land of the Free home of the brave. So this is American as can be. Uh, of course, if you take a closer look, it's Budweiser. Budweiser decided uh, to label most of their beers they're selling this year uh, America. Uh, I guess it's because of some sporting events, but I'm uh, actually I don't know too much about sports, but a lot about, a lot about beer. And I know that, um, of course, Enhoiser Bush Enhoiser Bush InBev uh, is not a solely American company anymore. It's an international company and the headquarters are in Belgium. So many people suggested, why don't you label that uh, Belgium? Uh, they don't label it Belgium because this is, uh, this is a very American beer. It's maybe one of the most typical American lagers that you can buy. Uh, of course, most people in the uh, in the craft beer world would say you can't drink that beer because uh, it's just a yellow fizzy stuff but uh, let's pour it and let's check of course um, yeah, it's yellow and I admit it might be called fizzy but does it does it make this beer a bad beer? That make the people who prefer this beer to craft beer just bad people? No, it's not. And it has a wonderful subtle apple-like aroma. So uh, those people who love that beer, they can always recognize it. And yes, it's easy drinking. It's a very easy drinking beer. Uh, but that means that it's very difficult to brew. It's, it's not a beer that I would sort of enjoy as a specialty beer, but I understand that there's people who, who prefer drinkability uh, to very intense taste. And so it's, it's people, they, they love to have an easy drinking beer and why not pick uh, America or well, Budweiser. Uh, the thing is, this is, this is the beer that appeals to many beer drinkers uh, just because it's so clean in its taste. And, and it pairs with almost any food you can think of. And um, it's the one beer uh, that um, is the most popular in many parts of the world. So I think, let's just be fair and say this is, this is an interesting beer. It has an interesting story to it. Uh, they do a great marketing, putting the land of the free and, and home of the brave out of the can or the bottles and um, tell people that this is, um, this is not bad beer. This is, this is actually something that they take a lot of effort to brew and um, well, I hope to see you next week for another Conrad Seidel's Beer of the Week. Uh, and so oh, enjoy. Mm. And I promise next week it will be a more flavorful beer. <laughs>